Hi, this is Amrita here and welcome to the software engineering lecture. So let's get started with the topic Kokomo. For any new software project, it is necessary to know how much will it cost to develop and how much development time will it take. These estimates are needed before development in, is initiated. But how is this done? In many cases, estimates are made using past experience as the, as the only guide. However, in most of the cases, projects are different and hence past experience alone may not be enough. A number of estimation techniques have been developed. Kokomo is very popular technique for finding the effort, development time, average staff size and productivity. Kokomo includes basic model, intermediate model, and complete model. The basic model aims at estimating in a quick and rough fashion most of the small to medium sizes of the software project. The basic model allowed for a quick and rough estimate, so the intermediate model come into the picture. Bohm introduced an additional set of 15 predictors to increasing the accuracy of estimation in this intermediate model. The detail models provides a set of phase sensitive effort multipliers for each cost drivers. This helps in determining the manpower allocation for each phase of the project. All models works on the all three modes of the software development. Three modes of the software development are organic mode, semi detached mode and embedded mode. Actually, Bohm postulated that any software development projects can be classified into one of the following three categories based on the development complexity. In order to classify a product into the identified categories, Bohm not only considered the characteristics of the product but also those of the development team and development environment. Roughly speaking, these three product classes correspond to application, utility and system programs respectively. So the first of uh, our first motive is to find that particular software product in which category means this particular software is in organic mode or semi detached mode or embedded mode. Organic a development project can be considered of organic type if the project deals with developing a well understood application program the size of the development team is reasonably small and the team members are experienced in developing similar type of project. In semi-detached mode, a development project can be considered of semi-detached type if the development consists of a mixture of experience and experienced staff. Team members may have limited experience on related system but may be unfamiliar with this some aspects of the system being developed. In embedded mode, a development project is considered to be embedded type if the software being developed is strongly coupled to complex hardware. Basic Kokomo allowed for a quick and rough estimate but it resulted in a lack of accuracy. The basic Kokomo model gives an appro uh, approximate estimate of the project parameters. The basic Kokomo estimation model is given by these expressions for effort and development time where KLOC is the estimated size of the software product expressed in kilo lines of code means uh, kilo LOC and AB, BB, CB, DB are the constant for each categories of the software project. Each category means uh, the product is in a organic mode or semi detached mode or in, or in a embedded mode. This is the this is the constant table for basic Kokomo. Development time is the estimated time to develop the software expressed in a month. Effort is the total effort required to develop the software product expressed uh, in person months. Means uh, person month is the unit of the effort and months is the unit for this development time. We can put this constant value of AB, BB, CB, DB in the previous expressions and find the expression for 
effort for all type of modes that is organic semi detached or embedded here we can see the expressions for effort for all modes like the same way we can put this constant value in the previous expression and find the expressions for development time for all type of modes here we can see the expressions for development time for all modes the effort estimation is expressed in units of person months it is the area under the person month plot as shown in this figure it should be carefully noted that an effort of 100 pm doesn't imply that 100 person should work for one month nor does it imply that one person should be employed for 100 months but it denoted the area under the person month curve some insight into the basic kokomo model can be obtained by plotting the estimated characteristics for different software sizes This graph shows a plot of estimated effort versus product size. From this graph we can observe that the effort is somewhat super linear in the size of the software product. So the effort required to develop a product increases very rapidly with project size. The development time versus the product size in KLOC is plotted in this graph. From this graph it can be observed that the development time is a sublinear function of the size of the product that is when the size of the product increases by two times the time to develop the product doesn't double but rises moderately this can be explained by the fact that uh, for larger products a larger number of activities which can be carried out concurrently can be identified the parallel activities can be carried out simultaneously by the engineers so this reduces the time to be complete the project these are the other expressions using in a coco model for finding the average staff size average staff size is equal to e by d means e is the effort and d is the development time the unit of the average staff uh, average staff size is is persons next is we can calculate the productivity p p is equal to kloc by e and the unit of this productivity is kloc person month with the help of this example we can understand the concept that uh, how to use this kokomo model for finding the effort and development time so firstly uh, find the expressions for effort and development time for all modes these are the effort expressions for all modes and and these are the development time equations for all modes just pause this slides here and put the 400 400 in the place of kloc and find the effort and uh, and then put this effort value in the development equations and find the development time in months so so the these are the answer you can match your answer with this uh, answers next example a project size of 200 kloc is to be developed software development team has average experience on similar type of project the project schedule is not very tight calculate the effort development time average staff size and productivity of the project for solving this question firstly we have to choose the most appropriate mode for this problem there is a there are some lines like uh, software development team has average experience on the similar type of project the project schedule is not very tight these lines shows that uh, semi detached mode is the most appropriate mode for this problem keeping in view the size and schedule and experience of the development team this is the expressions for uh, finding the effort in semi detached mode and this is the expression for finding the development time in semi detached mode so put the value 200 in the place of kloc and find the effort effort is this the unit of effort is in a person month now this 
put this effort in a development time equation and find the development time development time for this project is 29.3 months m stands for months average staff size is equal to effort divided by development time so the average staff size is 38.67 persons productivity is equal to kloc divided by effort here 200 kloc and effort is the 1133.12 put these values in this equation and find the productivity Point one seven six five kloc person month. It can be converted to loc divided by one thousand. So the final answer for the productivity is one seven six loc per month. This is the next example. Assume that the size of an organic type software product has been estimated to be thirty two thousand lines of source code. Assume that the average salary of software engineer is B rupees fifteen thousand per month. Determine the effort required to develop the software product, the nominal development time, and the cost required to develop the product. So, firstly, find the effort. This is the expression for effort uh, in organic mode, and this is the expressions for uh, finding the development time in organic mode. Put the value. Of, put the thirty-two. Thirty-two thousand lines means thirty-two kloc. So put the thirty-two in the place of kloc and find the effort. For this example, effort is ninety-one pm, and put this effort into the development equation and find the development time in months. This is the development time in months. The answer is fourteen months. So assume uh, in the question here is one line. Assume that the average salary of software engineer is to be rupees fifteen thousand per month. So multiply this fifteen thousand into fourteen and get the cost required to develop the product. So the answer is two one zero 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 means twenty two lakhs ten thousand rupees is the cost required to develop this product. The basic Kokomo model assumes that effort and development time are function of the product size alone. However, a host of other project parameters besides the product size affects the effort required to develop the product as well as the development time. Therefore, in order to obtain an accurate estimation of the effort and project duration, the effects of all relevant parameters must be taken into account. The intermediate Kokomo model recognizes this fact. and defines the initial estimate obtaining using the basic kokomo expression by using a set of 15 cost drivers based on various attribute of the software development intermediate kokomo estimation model is given by these expressions for finding the effort and development time uh, here ai bi ci di is the constants for intermediate kokomo i stands for intermediate and uh, here is a new one word eaf eaf is the effort adjustment factor these ad effort adjustment factor can be calculated with the help of the 15 cost driver which is the uh, which is uh, which is introduced in this intermediate kokomo model these are <clears throat> uh, cost driver attributes. The cost drivers are grouped into four categories: product attributes, hardware attributes, personal attributes, and project attributes. Each cost driver is rated for a given project environment. The rating uses a scale very low low nominal high very high extra high which describes to what extent the cost driver applies to the project being estimated this table gives the multiplier values for the 15 cost drivers and their rating as provided by the bohms 
suppose we are taking an example uh, required software reliability suppose the answer for this question is low so 0.88 value for this factor and the next is size of the application database for example size of the application database is nominal so the cost driver value is 1 and the next is complexity of the project suppose uh, complexity of the project is high so the cost value of uh, for this factor is 1.15 so multiply multiply these values and find the eaf in this way 0 0.88 multiply by 1 point uh, multiply by 1.15 suppose the next uh, runtime performance and memory memory constraints voluntary of the virtual machine environment required uh, turn about time suppose <coughs> the answer for all these questions are nominal so next is 1 multiply by 1 multiply by 1 in this way we multiply all the you know, values for the cost drivers and finding the value eaf for this example the answer for this eaf is 1.17 with the help of this uh, with the help of this example we can understand that how to use this intermediate kokomo model we are taking the same example as we used in a basic kokomo model a project size of 200 kloc is to be developed software development team has average experience on similar type of project the project schedule is not very tight suppose the ef is 1.17 one seven calculate the effort and development time firstly the question is that we have to choose the appropriate mode for this example here uh, in this example mention is average experience on similar type of project and the project schedule is not very tight it means according to this situations semi detached mode is more suitable and eaf is given so we have to choose that intermediate model for this example so the expressions for intermediate model in semi detached mode is for effort and development time the equation is this to so just put the value of 200 in the place of kloc and find the effort but here is a one uh, one more uh, terms eaf effort adjustment factor in this example effort adjustment factor is value is given 1.17 so multiply this by uh, multiply by this and find the effort then put this value effort in the next expression for finding the development time and finding the development time in months these are the references uh, if you have any questions and doubt related with this video post your questions and doubt in the comment section i hope this video given you useful information if it is like this video subscribe this channel for such videos thank you